Um, the CARE project has been funded by the European uh, community to look at early childhood education and care from birth to six years old. In the first reports from the, this project, we have been reviewing the evidence on the longer term effects of early childhood education and care. The evidence clearly shows that there are long-term benefits for children for their educational achievement and for their social development of having high quality early childhood education and care. The benefits for children from poor families are particularly strong, but all children benefit. But for these benefits to occur, it does appear that the Early childhood education and care does need to be high quality. It's also clear that trained staff are much more likely to deliver high quality early, early childhood education and care than unqualified staff. So our recommendations are that countries should strive to provide all children with high quality early childhood education and care and that this should be regarded as part of the infrastructure for the good social and economic development of any modern country. In our reviews of the evidence on early childhood education and care, we find that high quality makes a difference. Now, high quality early child education and care means where the child has lots of interactions with staff, where those interactions involve responsive communication, and where the staff elaborate and expand upon the communications of the child to further develop the child's communication ability. Also in high quality care, you see a, a wide range of social experiences available for children. For example, one-to-one -one situations, small group situations, and big group situations. And the child is capable of learning how to interact with a wide range of people socially, and learns how to cope with conflicts between children, for example. Now, the kinds of experiences that benefit children also include good learning opportunities, opportunities to learn about the world, to learn about language in its various spoken and written forms, to learn about numbers, to learn about shapes, as well as learning how to interact with other people. Now, when we look at children who've had high quality early childhood education and care compared to those who haven't, we find that children with such experiences are more than three times as likely to get high mathematics scores in secondary school than children without any preschool experience. And also they show similar benefits in their literacy attainment. But it's not just academic attainment. When we look at aspects of their social behavior, for example, their ability to act independently, their ability to uh, show pro-social behavior and uh, empathy with their fellow uh, children, They're, that also improves as a result of preschool experience. So we see a range of improvements resulting from high quality early childhood education and care. That is why it is so beneficial for all children. And as I said earlier, the benefits in particular for children from disadvantaged families are particularly strong. And we see this in highly developed countries like the UK and Norway. We also see it in less developed countries as well as the underdeveloped countries in the world. So this is a phenomenon which seems to be true across the board. And it's also the case that we now see countries which are striving for strong economic development are starting to realize that they need to incorporate high quality early childhood education and care into their social infrastructure 
in order to make sure that their population are prepared for the world of tomorrow.